Oh, here we go. A push into alt mid. Quick trade for Frozen. Back and forth. Two for two. Not too shabby, all things considered. They're still fighting. This is crazy. They still want to battle in window. What a magnificent little gunfight we got going on, and things are going to slow down into a three on three. Yeah, they are, absolutely. And Miles Liquid, this is probably the hardest game to call of all of the next round of sort of quarterfinals, if you will, now. Both these teams have reasons to back them, and both these teams have sown shines of vulnerability. Miles obviously had a phenomenal group stage, that said. Bomb is down in alt middle, and Naf trying to rotate over to it, isn't even sure where they've gone. Yeah, but look how uncomfortable it's made Team Liquid. Look how long, I mean, there's still plenty of time on the clock, so that's not gonna be a concern whatsoever, but they've, they've kind of thrown everything into a little bit of confusion in the sense that Liquid will have no idea where they're going to position themselves after the fact. Zertion is positioned at top banana, going to take a peek at the half wall, sliding over towards the boards. He'll have a chance to spot something. Naf is down there. Naf is peeking. Now he's caught in no man's land. Oh, this is dangerous. Liquid's going to turn this corner. It's all down to timing. Nitro goes for the peek, jumps out of the angle. Now he's got a fight. He's got one. And again, it should be a trade. Out of ammunition. Naf's put him down. But Dexter's already hustling over. Everything answered, though. It's another no smoke. even situation. Two on two. You're absolutely right. No smoke. Frozen, though, despite having the two kills to start this off, is on 21 HP. He's going to be lagging behind on the rotation. It's Dexter. It's dead. Who's going to absolutely find Naf? No. He goes for the no Akinder. Way. And he's missed it. Didn't go for the easy denial. Thought he could get both. Got greedy. And Yakinder puts him down. And now with 21 HP, no kit. Frozen needs four kills in this round. He's flashed up as well. That's going to walk him out into the open. They spot the gun. And they know exactly where he is. Naf, even being smart about this, does not want to overcommit to the fight. He's going to play this in this the team game and goes right back into dark. That means they've got the crossfire set from Banana. And Yakinder just waits. It'll all be on sound cues and timing. Frozen around. Naf down. It's the win for Liquid. Naf is there like a champion to trade every single kill that comes out. Wonderful work from him. I think he got one in alt mid. Obviously the final one, and he gets Dexter. Coming into the bomb site. Actually, the ones at the base of Banana. That's a brutal miss for Dexter to take, and I don't even know what necessarily the right call is to make. He turns the corner. He knows he's got a planter, and then he knows, obviously, you can see Yekindar's not even paying attention to him. So yeah, I don't even know if I can blame him for going for Yekindar, but that's... A tough miss. A tough miss in an important situation. One to nothing for Liquid. Shot back as Nitro took the damage from the nade. I thought he was going to get around with the MAC-10. Doesn't. It's the 5-7 instead as he falls. So the advantage to Maus, I, I think this week I've seen more second round wins uh, from any tournament ever. It's been incredible. I say this week, I mean this, this Pro League stint. Elise will take down Dexter, so having lost out in Banana, they just turned their attention over to the A site instead. The player in the pit that's causing problems, and with the smoke down, they're going to try and rotate around, though they're cut off. This is getting awkward. Yeah. They're trying to look for the easy route. The problem is they're giving themselves up as they do so, and a slaughter inside CT. Uh, maybe trying to take it a little bit too fast. There's still a minute on the clock, and they rush into every single choke point, and you're exactly right. Every time they turned a corner, Mouse had the answer. A weapon to stop them and slow them down, a smoke in their face, trying to wrap on the bomb site, and you just get cordoned into a very tight angle, into a crossfire as well. That is a tough loss to take. Great shot. And great follow-up from the 5-7 as well, pushing out of Library Frozen, gets a double kill and distracts for that final frag. Well, you called it. You got it. Another second round win. Yeah, it's outrageous. It's, it's just happening so frequently right now. Gender with a lovely little sidewalk up past the flames to peek into Banana, but couldn't find anyone there because it was smoked off as well. Oh, so he's going to jump by. That smoke, make sure he gets himself safely in toward middle and bench. There's the bomb over toward alt mid right now. No one really pushed up to speak. Ooh, that's a little nade. How did I say that? It doesn't do any damage. It looked much better graphically than it was. That's pretty good graphically. Head removed. Yakinder gets frozen back, so they sit to a 4 and 4. He's tagged to 43, but Exertion will continue to peek back out. At least drive by? Yep, that's beautiful. Oh, Nitro's got the bomb, though. Dexter just looks away. JDC's there as well. I don't think they can get him out of this. Even if Elise goes and takes the B bomb site, he needs to find this kill. But this is going to be so tough. Dexter with the push finds another frag. Elise did find the kill in the B bomb site, so Nitro can bail out. This gets interesting. I'm impressed Nitro gets out of that. You're right. They certainly didn't expect JDC to be as close as he was. And now, with the gun picked up, Elise tries to go to work. There's a kit down top side of Banana. They both could therefore have one when they arrive because that's Dexter's route. JDC already has one, but he's taken down. Nitro has got the kill onto him. Dexter continues forward, but he's running out of time on this. Has picked up that kit. 
But he still doesn't have the angles. And with two to find, I think he's going to back off of this. He's got a smoke still to hold on to. Great. If he gets that on the yeah. bomb in a one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't matter. The head armor is more important. He's going he's gonna to bail out of this. So Liquid respond and take back momentum. This will give them back what they lost in the previous round. But it's still, this is not comfortable for anyone. Good, good pass to the M4s. They'll get the guns. Giving up the AK, though, for the M4 is interesting. Yeah, a little bit surprising. I, I caught on to that as well. That's a, that's a head scratch. I'll have a conversation with him after the fact. Figure it out. Great shooting from Alish. I mean, a, a nice deagle kill. Picks up the rifle and clears out the B bomb site. Creates the escape route. It still was difficult getting Nitro out of that position without getting picked off, but at least the route was there. I'm wondering if they go for the M4s because they know they're going to be on a force buy situation, so they're hoping maybe they won't have armor, but they do. So they don't have head armor, though. I mean, maybe it's they, they want the accuracy. They can just mow down those could pistols. Be the, could or, be the spam as well, right? Yeah, fair. Quiet. I mean, th this is it's it's fun. This liquid conversation around uh, the tournament Yakinder's having and how he's he's had a couple very important games for Liquid, or he's had to just basically solo hard carry. Well, oh. we're not going to fault him for picking up the M4 after a shot like that. Just deletes Torzi. But Elijah, that goes to the lack of head armor, right? Yeah. Elijah himself has had a very incredible tournament as well. He's had some huge games and very impactful rounds, and he's putting on a very stellar performance. It's maybe a little overshadowed by Yakinder, but but still impressive. I, I think you're absolutely right. There's been a few games he's been a bit more off than Yakinder. I think consistency-wise, but you're you're not wrong. The uh, performances have been there. The impact has. Zershin boosted up forward of the flower pots, not one you see often. So OC was not expecting that. He gets taken down for it. Man, Mal's making this competitive again. Upgraded pistols around this M4 that was saved previously. Obviously, I, I tweeted out a picture of Yakinder this morning warming up with his face two he's, inches off the monitor. Yeah, he's and one I, of those guys. He is. He didn't even know I walked in the room. And to that point, he said, I said, like, man, like, that's so crazy that you sit that close. Like, he was like, honestly, when I'm in arenas and crowds, there's way less distractions. I can sit this close and nothing interferes with me. I'm just totally tunneled in. Nav's tunneled in to the pit this time. He's going to take down Dexter and JDC. So it's just frozen and exertion in that a uh, AWP, excuse me. Or, 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 that, that AWP that fires rapidly with less power and more silence is yeah. going to be saved by exertion. Sure. Well, maybe not. Yekinder's on the hunt. He's been doing this all event long. He's ready for it. Quick headshot. And that's why he's close to the monitor. He was ready. Very, very precise on that shot. And Frozen is the last one remaining. Top banana, and he should be able to get away with the gun. Three to one. So Liquid survive a little bit of a scare. Obviously, the hiccup of losing the second round after the pistol, but recovering it right back in the next one. Yeah, and then now they can take the economic advantage pretty substantially because of the force buy. It's only going to be a second round. And this now is third round boss this, this is this is a series as well against Malza. Like I mean, so much of this tournament, and obviously just to get into the playoffs, Liquid's been leaning way too heavily on Yakinder to be able to have performance after performance. elijah has been good, as you mentioned. Naf has had some good games, but it's been Yakinder there as the constant, and then really the driving force. The deeper they get into the playoffs, like the, the more that that has to change. We need to start seeing some of these other guys come alive, especially, obviously, we'll bring it up here. OC's had a really rough tournament, so we'd like to see that all be impactful here on Inferno. He's 0-4 at the moment. No need to bring the AWP out quite yet. No money for it quite yet either. Five-man stack, four-man stack, excuse me, towards the B-bomb site for Maus. The snade could be timely, but it's going to bounce toward the bags instead. That's more expected. Exertion... And Co. were all there. Imagine he somehow did uh -oh. land and get the gun back. Oh. How does he hit that second one that quickly? Yeah, he's a beast. That's a nice. I'm gonna sit close to mine. No, you know what? My eyes. <laughs> yeah, you're I'm you're not. old. But I would try it because that was uh, pretty convincing. And yeah. Naf will take down Dexter. So, looking like this time, no ego, no problem. And they actually, it's surprising that they actually frozen and Torji rotated towards A instead of pushing down Banana to try and get that AK-47. I mean, right when it happens, you might still think that there's going to be more Liquid players to defend it, but that's a rifle on the ground that I think they're going to want to have. And Liquid now starting to move into a position where they can prevent it. Nitro is going to have the angle, and the opportunity is lost for Maus. Although Frozen adds one more kill, there goes Torji, so just, at, if anything, it's just going to be the one gun surviving, but Naf is slowly creeping in from behind. Flash goes high. Frozen was slow to react on that, considering it was in the sky for a while. OC will take him down. And no M4 saved. Naf's even going to grab that. So three M4s on the T side. They're loving this. They're going They're going straight up CTT. A lot of silencers on the map. 
Nicely done from Yakinder. He got caught with his pants down, but recovers very nicely. Gun comes out. You know what? Just, just uh, carry on. Finish yeah, your point. I, I didn't really have a point. Gun comes no, out. These are it. irrelevant. I was going to say, uh, it, do you ever, it, you know what's actually the most welcome thing ever? Is after you are at a warm up server and it's super loud, everyone's running the AK and it switches to pistols only and it's just all silence DSPs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So nice. Your ears just get that five minutes to be like, ah. Oh. That's when you get the deathmatch music pumping in your ears. Yeah, absolutely. And you crank it up. So we might have a silent round this time, as there is eight M4A1Ss in play. Nitro and Yukinder are the only two AKs. Yukinder is the one that's going to be the first in action, getting up the banana. He slides the half wall. Frozen actually popped out and saw Nitro before that, so now or one less AK in the rounds. More damage done as well onto OC, jumping. You can hear out there, though. They still have no, they have no idea. They yeah. have absolutely not. I would have thought they would have heard him sliding up, but he used the wall to mask that. He's going to hear them backing away with that reload noise as well. So you kinder knows they have banana control. I'm surprised he didn't call for a flash from OC to turn that corner. We've seen him do it a number of times, but maybe this is the play he was more interested in is just going for contact play when they wouldn't expect it. Ooh, gets tagged up, loses the initial exchange, but he's found the follow-up. Oh, the boost. Oh, he reads it. He reads it the whole way, and he's into the B bomb site all by his lonesome. You Kinder's opened up B, and Elijah's going to build on top of it. That's pretty sick. I think you're right. I think Kinder just thought, I'd rather walk in. They don't know I'm this close. If I can catch them off retreating, I just catch them in the open. Hey, they hey, did have good positions, but he still read it. And, I mean, the, the, yeah, that's the big thing. The read-up saying, okay, there's two players that fell back into the bomb site. Like, uh, I'm going to check for this boost. That's a likely play, especially because he sees that that player, his initial contact, his initial fight transitioning away from that corner. He's just like, why wouldn't I pre-aim this? Let me just make sure. And especially with the utility dump down banana, mouths get read like a book. 5-1. Yeah, this is good. This is this is composed from Team Liquid. They're going to hunt, but I don't know. Well, they might get to JDC. It's up to him if he peeks on this because the timing of that bomb going off. Naf going to nade it in. That'll do a bit of damage, but that's all really inconsequential as he even tries to spam after it. There's the trophy, all lit a, lit a blaze. Lit a blaze because it is a flaming trophy. It's pretty sweet. I like that one a lot. I think it's actually one of the better looking uh, trophies. You don't miss the uh, the giant industrial gear trophy? Is that what it was? Remember that? With that the, oh, I know what it was. Like nuts and bolts? Blue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, I forgot about the nuts and bolts on it. I just remember like... Looking a little lifeless here on Inferno. Or maybe it's just because you can't have shut him down so quickly in the previous round, and Elise has had a, a couple great rounds to give him give lead, Team Liquid this this sort of a lead. That one's better. Good nade. Bounced into Nitro. He goes down to 52. You can't have close. Dodges that flash. He's able to turn fine. Frozen saves his teammates in doing so because two of them were fully blind, one of which was Elise. And he's down to 52 on a secondary day that puts Nitro now on 24. I don't know if any bullets have landed in this round so far from Mouse Sports, but. It is still getting the damage done. This is Liquid sending a message, right? This is Liquid saying, hey, you better you better bring a third person here. You better bring more defense because two of these guys, they cannot handle me. I'm going to keep wrecking this bomb site as long as there's just two players. I'm going to read you. I'm going to stroll up Banana with confidence, and I'm going to find the entry kills. Back-to-back -back rounds, Yukinder is just straight up one with two frags. Guys actually playing incredible at the moment. Nine and four. I, so when I said I took that picture this morning, I tweeted it out after I took it, and I still probably tweeted it at like 10 o'clock. I think I was down here at 8.30, and he was already down here. Okay. Actually, that's not true. I went to Brooklyn. I would have been down here at 9. He was already DMing at 9 a.m., though. Yeah, and dedicated. It's, it's what time now? It's uh, 4 o'clock. So there yeah. you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's been a conversation point a lot of interviews that he's had, especially like right before Cologne, just being like, yeah, I came into this team like used to doing like 12 days, 12 hours of practice per day with, with VP, with Outsiders, and I came to Liquid, they were down to like six or seven, and he's like, that changed real quick. He's like, I'm bored. <laughs> I mean, even even me talking to him the other day, I mean, he, he shares the sentiment of a lot of a lot of players in the pro scene, obviously, is just like, if Counter-Strike, if you're not living and breathing it, you got you got no business trying to be one of the best in the world, so you Kinder very much exemplifies that, and you're seeing the results of it. Torji does have the AWP, and no surprise, he's brought it to Banana. Brought it to handle the Kinder. However, they realize the money situation. They realize cash for the AWP is going to be available, so they head up towards A. This is going to be a quick timing hit. Nath's already knocking at the door of Anna Halls. Alicia's already moving up lane. JDC, backside of the site, is going to elevate himself up on the boxes. Looks for the gap between the pillar, but he's too much movement and too little time. Elige gets there as he's repositioning, takes him down. Dexter only good for one. It's the response to Elige, but Naf has the shot in the hand. Yukender sees 
Not only one, but a lineup on the second. Dodges the AWP shot and does significant damage. Torji might slip the net on this one, even though he was extremely close to taking him down. I think Ekinder heard a noise behind it, made him think there was someone a lot closer. I think he's just reading it. And he's just saying, I don't need to chase this kill. You're going to be backed off. I need to make sure I don't die. If he goes down, that's the only thing that could give Mao's an opportunity to, to actually go for this retake. If it's a two on two, they go for it. If it's a, if it's a two on three, the way it is now with Ekinder in that position. So screw the op, let him have it. We've already won the round. Eye on the prize. This time it's great trading. And that is a call from Team Liquid built off the banana success. That's what I mean. That's what I meant by them sending that message. They do bring a third player over to handle back-to-back -back rounds where Yekinder cracks, cracks open the B bomb site by himself. That's a third player they don't have to shore up the defense over at A, and Team Liquid take complete advantage of it with a very fast-paced timing hit onto the bomb site. Yep, pretty solid overall. OC pretty comfortable at his end of the table. They've Again, elected to carry three M4s over in this, so they're absolutely loving the situation, and I think the Mouse need to start getting some more helmets. They've got three this time. Exertion and Frozen don't, though, so, yeah. I, 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 this is clearly a conscious decision by Liquid saying, right, we can we can win against Mouse Sports. Inferno, Angles, lack of head armor, whatever the case may be, they're doing the damage, but now the damage coming the other way. Exertion and Frozen push down. Good utility to take over Banana, walk them in the corner, and then slay them as they spray into the smoke. It's a liege to get one back, but that's all four on two yeah that time the third player works out magnificently for miles able to push down able to just as you mentioned put them all in the same corner with the molotov all three of them were burning that smoke took a long time to extinguish it how much damage can liquid do nath and a liege a little bit light on utility all the m4 is going to be taken away perhaps here comes a flashbang to set up a liege He's gonna go on the back and quickly finds himself on the ground frozen was up close flash never got to him he was at the Tree position, so a minute and two. $10,000 for NAF, for Elige, for OC. Kinder on 88, Nitro 62. Absolutely can afford to chase right now, can punish the CT economy. But at the same time, you might just think otherwise. No, I, I think he's going to rotate around, try and catch one off. I think he's just saying, you guys have the bomb and banana. You're going to have most of your manpower is going to be here. Let me see if I can find like one player trying to be cheeky. And I mean, it, it's there. The opportunity is there with JDC. All down to this timing. Ooh, NAF's got it. That's... A valuable kill. One more would be fantastic. I don't think he's really going to go for this, but no. again, just trying to put a dent in the economy, trying to keep it low, keep it at a that's, breaking point. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like, they have enough yep. money, he can justify doing that. But any kill he gets right now against Maus is massive. So he's going to look banana. Knows that's where they are. Doesn't mind going down, as we say. Tons of money. towards he's got him. 7-2. Maus get back to their first gun round win and their second run of that one of the half because remember it was round two they eco one or four spot whatever we call those these days it's a gray area yeah it really is we gotta uh, we mentioned that like a couple days ago we gotta start coming up with new terminology yeah. <laughs> the old the old terminology no longer works all right here's the follow-up buy from team liquid digging into their bank not too bad though they still got plenty of money oc's on the awp torji's gonna have his in towards middle they go for a run boost and they mess it up so it's called off Liquid just knocking at the door, base of banana. A deep smoke from Mouse dissuades them from doing anything. Frozen takes a little bit of damage from the Molotov, and Yekinder is going to slide in between two smokes. A less comedic version of Between Two Ferns. Oh, God, that, I love that show. Which was then a movie, but yeah. Kender boosted. He's going to try and look this out to Frozen. So, Sendieri goes down the top side of Banana. That's going to force off everyone. They have to back away, and that will buy the space for Mouse to get back into control. Flash as well. Do they double peek this late? Yekender holding at the tree, but on an off angle in case they push down. Knows they're there, but Exertion's got the shot instead. Good awareness. Yekinder loves using that position for the mid round for those late banana retakes from the defensive side. He's been very effective in it throughout this tournament. Dexter's hustling back to the A bomb site. Torji has an angle. Nath is looking for that rotator. Here comes Utility. If JDC gets blocked off, yeah, Torji's got to fall back into the site because Nath would have been able to pick him off. Nade back towards Broken Wall. JDC goes down. Torji's up close, though. Edge of the smoke. He was looking low. He saw two, but he couldn't get the shot lined up. And by the time he realized, he was in trouble because someone walked out from the apartments. Bomb to be planted. And four players still alive in this Elyse.
With only the 12 HP, this isn't going to be sought out, surely. They're looking for weapons. They're looking to try and get away. And interestingly, the CTs want CTs the want M4s. CTs <laughs> But the, yeah, the CTs want AKs. The Ts want the M4s, so it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's a little strange, isn't it? Yeah, maybe they'll come up with a free trade agreement. <laughs> Leash is on. Yeah, Everyone we'll, go to middle, start of the round, dr drop your gun, and we'll reset and start again. Yeah, Lend Lease program. Leash is on the hunt. Any weapon you can take away. This mouse defense is just is just getting destroyed right now. What a great T-side Inferno being called and being shown by Team Liquid. That's a 4v5. Liquid just walk up middle, execute onto the A bomb site, and no kills come out for the defense. With all the utility being spent, the nades, the smokes, the flashbangs, the, the crossfires were never sprung. And look how blind Dexter is. You need to have these full gun buys. Liquid would love to get a knockout punch eventually, but at the moment, they're just happy putting rounds on the board. One kill on JDC, two kills on Torji, three on Dexter. Oh, good boost up late. Torji was looking beside the wall. They never anticipated that. Yeah, they're so fast to hit it. There's no chance for a rebuttal. Urshan. You don't would you like my choice of words? No, I'm laughing at just the, I don't know what he's supposed to do. I'm always starting to feel bad for the B defenders. It's just like, okay, this is the game we're playing, huh? Or this is the game we're, we're not, playing. not playing. We don't yeah. even get a chance. The game, the game Team Liquid's playing. And they're just basically demo watching. So Molotov over toward Quad. Short side, Exertion instead though, goes up close to the smoke, no one pushing into that yet. Couple shots with the AK. Kinder again back toward that position in Banana. They're there, smokes at the ready from the CTs. 40 seconds left though. JDC has a smoke, but he's nowhere nearby. He's he's well over toward B. The nice thing for, for Frozen and at the B bomb set is Exertion rotating over in support has two flashbangs. So when this hit eventually does come in, Frozen can call for that. Molotov is going to slow things down. Although there is a smoke to extinguish it if Liquid wants to. That's a deep smoke. They might have to and jump right through it. Here comes the support flashes. Frozen's even dropping one. Actually, they don't put it out. Nath isn't putting it out at all. Now we've got to go 12 seconds. 12 seconds, no smoke to CT either. Because of that, they redress it. It gets put in position, frozen, good trade. Had to happen cleanly. Exertion knows though they have to plant this ball. He can almost deny it, jumps over. He's a little bit too late, just barely too late because that would have been the round in itself. And now his teammates have to rotate. They have to get there and they're gonna try and pincer from both angles, but OC's ready. Dexter goes down to the AWP and JDC finds himself with very, very little chance in this round. What an effort trying to come over the top. That, that's maybe, I mean, that's a wonderful job from Mal to make that as difficult a hit as possible for Team Liquid, but but man, you still can't get out of it. The trading has been on point for Team Liquid in this game yes. when they've needed it. You know, they yeah, haven't they haven't yeah. always actually needed it. But they've done a great job. Nine to two, seven round lead. Money on exertion. They're, he's gonna be able to buy again. Can drop an AWP if they want to. Dexter as well is gonna be able to buy himself. Oh. Uh cool. They just say hi to each other. Yeah. But, uh, the knife out for you, Kendar, so it doesn't get him at all. They, uh, they'll let JDC survive with the gun. Elige, you're right, though. He got the trade immediately. Frozen was in a position with having dropped those flashes back, getting in the sight. The smoke not being there on top of the Molotov potentially could have done some serious damage. Yes. So the trade was perfect from Elige to make sure that didn't get any worse than it needed to, especially because, like you said, there was 12 seconds on the clock when that happened. I was surprised, to see, Liquid not, I was surprised to see Liquid not deploy that smoke to put it out, but, I mean, fair play to them. They made it work. OC, and you can do this time. Bottom side of Banana. They'll wait for the smokes to go down. There's going to be a nade lobbed out in that direction, and that one will... Take the shins off you, Kinder. That's even worse for his sake because Exertion gets the opener. Mouse finally with something to work with. I don't think that's secondary. Ooh, nice shot from OC. Good job getting involved in the action. Rosen goes down, equalizing kill is found. However, OC's brought very low. Last time in a 4v5, Liquid just marched up mid and didn't execute a set piece onto the A bomb site. This is a little bit more slow and measured. Oof, for Exertion pushing down. Gets wrecked. What do you do now if your mouths split? JDC is going to be in graveyard. You're running low on utility. He's he's with the smoke, but no one's heading in that direction. And Liquid's just saying, "Look, we're assuming you probably used all your utility to maintain this aggression in Banana, and this has worked the entire game. 
We've got four smokes. We've got a Molotov. We've got plenty of utility. Where are you going to go, Dexter? Dexter into the corner. Back out, right time. Nitro with his back turned, looking towards CT. The rest are coming. They know he's there. Might even try and go over top on him. Instead, they line up. Dexter doubles, and it's OC with only one in return, but he's low on HP. Low on HP, 21 seconds. It's an AWP. They're going to go through. I was going to say, that smoke's about to disappear. Torzi, he gets it. It counts as through the smoke, but it was dissipating. Yeah, this time, that might be that might be the one time the spacing from Team Liquid didn't allow for a trade. Nitro is coming in. He was maybe like five, six steps ahead of his next closest teammate, so he goes down, and Dexter has time to reset. And as you mentioned, not going over the top. They line up. So a really desperate triple kill from Dexter saves the day. Yeah, pretty solid, though. And this is essentially what could have happened with Frozen in the previous round, right? He was playing the exact same angle at Orange's 1. This time, there's no one available to trade. He has a bit more support, mind you, from his teammates, the flashes and utility from CT. But yeah, there's our fans in uh, the fan cams. I got a six round lead. Team Molotov, uh, Torji goes for the peak, and OC's ready and waiting. He's Good opening been, kill. He's only got six kills. He hasn't had to do much. He, well, Nitro's only got two. I mean, look at the score, right? You're not going to criticize it because they haven't had to do much, but he's been hitting the shots today. I've seen more consistency in uh -oh. his... Oh, that didn't extinguish correctly at all. No, or, not or the way... Kinder. Yeah, not the way he wanted it. I think he, he might have gone for that, but I think he sensed the fact there were two more players, didn't want to turn that corner, which is going to give Elyse some confidence to start working his way up middle. You pick one off, and Yekinder probably calling two defenders up atop banana. Elyse wants this duel. Oh, he's got Dexter in an awkward moment. He's not going to let him get away, but Dexter wins the fight regardless, right through the smoke as it plumes. Now it's going to work down the hallway. Yeah, the point with OC is he's actually hitting a lot more today. Like, again, hasn't had to do a lot, but the frequency of the times we've seen him with the AWP has been pretty accurate. He's going to have way more chance on the CT side. Oh, 100%, involved, yeah. but, but to the point of, you know, the last series we saw him in in, in the group stages, yeah, okay, it was a must win and they got through it, but OC looks pretty shaky at times. Nav can punish this. If Nitro calls out the push, well, Yekinder's watching for it. If Nitro calls out another one, all right, Nav, start making your play. That's two people. He's going to wrap around. He's going to be able to clear things out, open it up. Good kill. OC's already here to cut off rotations through CT spawn. He's calling it out in library. He's got a flank, a huge flank, but Frozen's got one through the smoke. OC is in a perfect position to capitalize on this, though. They don't know he's here. Frozen's about to be dead without even knowing that it was coming. It's all on exertion now, and they have to expect that he's over toward the side. He's through the smoke, though. He's going to beat the punch. He takes down OC. Oh, what a great elevation, but better shot from NAF. 10 to 3 for Liquid. That's such a good job from Liquid working their way into the bomb site. Nicely done from OC, dropping the AWP and getting aggressive with the AK-47, picking up not just the weapon, but the role of Yakinder to make space, to create space. And a great communica communication between Nitro and NAF to allow him to pounce out of the halls with safety. Miles can't get anything going their way. Never stringing two rounds together. The only thing they've really had is that they've played this entire half with a full losing bonus. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> All right, Jason, just backhand them harder. Why he don't shows you? violence. Oh my <laughs> god! Gender <laughs> down at the bottom of banana tries to slide out. Doesn't see anyone the first time by, but he is spotted and shot at the second to no avail. I, I mean, it's 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 funny, and I'm not trying to be cruel, but think about it that way. Like they've had a full losing bonus this entire half. They've these have been all gun rounds with utility for Mouse. They haven't been able to put a stop to it. No, they haven't at all. They've had every chance. Oh, they've got a nade this time from JDC that should do some damage as it bounces into two players. In fact, Nitro and Naf. Liege barely scratched by it. Torzi inside of the corner. Backs off, wants that angle from Oz to work with. It's JDC to get the shot instead. Torzi's got to sit and try and hope that no nades head his direction. The smoke extinguishes the flames because Liquid want to go. 56 seconds, but this time they want to be quick about it as Naf sprays in nearly. That's, that's the bomb down as well. They have to go here. Well, they nearly dinged his teammate's head. You're right, he has to go. JDC spots it. And look at the rotation over. This is a massive crossfire set up right now for Mouse Sports. It may not be powerful weapons, but there's enough of them that it adds up pretty fast. And with the bomb down inside of the site, this gets very awkward for Liquid. I think Liquid would have loved to have just been like, screw this, screw this utility, screw these flashbangs and all these smokes. Let's back away and go elsewhere. But the bomb being the entrance on the, on the entering player makes them have to commit here. Oh, that should be a kill. Nicely thrown, Elyse. 
Nafts. He's the second in the corner as well. He's got to be moving up close, though. They don't want to give up the double box. It's Nafts that's going to swing around. He cuts it off with OC. Zershin does bring it back to a one on one, but he's low. He's on 19, and OC's not going to let him get any closer. Forget the bomb. He's got time to fight. That's a 3v5 that Liquid just recovers. They got stalled out of everything. That was, that was the first time I think I've seen Mal's like really, really put a stop to the aggression and the hit from Liquid, and they still can't win it out at the end of the day. Some fine work, fine communication from Team Liquid, keeping their poise in a chaotic situation, and they crack it right open. I love it. OC's being aggressive, getting into it. At least it's like half cheering and half calling. I yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's that's the other side of communication. Not just what you're saying, but the intensity of it. And he's basically saying there's another one of default boxes. There were two there. There were two there. Make sure you clear it. Don't think it's open. And obviously, it, 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 it went through. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Zosi got the trade in the second. With Naf, I, I should, should say trade, sorry. Naf got the assist. He converted with the, with the second. Elise wants to work out from Boiler Door. He needs to be careful in doing it. You've got a three-man crossfire set with a boost on quad from the CT perspective. Naf and he will switch spots, see if Naf can bust out of the doorway. I think the, the, the cool thing about this second half from Team Liquid is that, remember, at the start of this half, it was all Yakinder. Back-to-back rounds opening up the B bomb site. Good find from Exertion, good find from Torji. But down the stretch, Yakinder hasn't been able, been getting those, like, free entries, those double kills, cracking up a bomb site on initial contact. I, I mean, he's at 12 kills. You've got a, you've got Elysia at 13. You've got Naf at 13 as well. Those two have done great work when they've had the Liquid's had to attack the A bomb site. Yakinder is handling the B bomb site, and it's all working for Team Liquid. This round, however, not the case. Going in the favor of Mouse, they're going to be able to scrap their fourth round on the board right at the end. Shot. OC takes down JDC. Heard him hop around. Jumping around. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. They hop in. I mean, they just had free access wherever they wanted to go. If they didn't have success at B, they cracked open A with, with uh, no regard. Let's see what Mouse can do. Uh, this this feels like a game where they kind of might want to just play themselves into shape for the second map. But if they can get going her early on here and put some hurt on Team Liquid's economy early, maybe they can get something going. This is attempted split towards the B bomb site, but Liquid have four players in CT spawn. <laughs> why is that so funny to you? I don't, why? <laughs> there's no one in B. There's no one in A. They've just got four players in CT spawn still. All right, whatever. It's great. I, I I love that that made you crack up. The problem is the bomb is. Oh no, it's actually going back. Uh oh. They didn't even figure it out. OC's going to shut down JDC. First pick to Liquid, and that's important if they're going to play this sort of retake scenario on to B. That's even if the bomb goes to B. They're still working their way straight toward the site. They started shifting away, but Alicia's going to stick around. Tertian gets the shot. You get her down, so that levels it out. It'll start to pull the rotations back as well. Elise needs to be very careful in his position. Does find one. Has to get the reload in, so he's got to run and jump. Dexter's going to chase him. He nails it, but Naf from inside oh, no. the site. Did he get both? He spun around and he got the other one in lane. That We got to see that one again. That's, That's going to be a thing foolish. of beauty. That's insane that he gets both. Nitro closes down on the bomb. Frozen falls, and they're going to win the round. We, I absolutely want to see that. What the hell? It's hard, I, that, like that shot to over the box with one shot. I mean, USP into the back of the head is hard enough. Yeah, he gets like a double gush, I think, on the player in library, like a double headshot with the USP and then spins and gets the other. Like, I don't even know how you pull that one off. Oh, my Lord. That is a sick party room. Sunglasses on, strobe light going. Spider-Man jersey as well. I did see that. Yeah, that's uh, that was that's a throwback for the Liquid Boys. That one was acceptable. When they tried to put my Canadian friends in Captain America jerseys, that was not. <laughs> I didn't like that one as much. It never looked better than, than those. Uh, uh, I don't know. Russell and I were trying to... We said that Liquid owed us a favor and had to make their logo a moose for one jersey. Well, yeah. They never did. Alliteration aside, Captain Canada just doesn't have the same ring to it. Uh -huh, that's what you think. inside of the apartments right now. MP9 in hand, and JDC has gone up the stairs on the other side, silently, but he's gonna go down. Okay, I was holding my breath. It took him a while there. Naf with the rifle does better. He's gonna take down Dexter, but he's gonna fall. It doesn't matter. OC's there. He'll spray in, and then he'll grab the M4 that his teammate has dropped. Upgrade onto that weapon.
And even, uh, I believe, Elise, like, next to him, grabbed the Moss. And that's that's an interesting, I mean, that's Mao's kind of conceding and just saying, you know, if we force by in that round and it goes wrong, then we, we, we take away a lot of our runway. They're just like, we, we have to just save the unarmored Glock so we can get to rifles out. We have to get to the AK rounds and see if we can, we can close this gap and start getting a little bit of life in us. Round number three of the second half, 18 overall. It's a nine-round lead for Team Liquid, up 13 to four. Frozen through the smoke. Oh, he's through the smoke, but I don't think he's aware of how many flames were there. He's still gonna get damaged, does catch off the Akendra who goes aggressive, but he will burn alive eventually. That Molotov somehow did catch him out in the end. Stepped backwards, I think took damage, maybe just took that one extra tick. Elise, the boost, but it's a FAMOS. It's never gonna get kills at that rate. <laughs> never. Nade's gonna bounce off. Oh, Nitro, didn't we just talk about this? He's gonna get it, don't worry. Captain America, bro, that's your boy. Maybe. So Team Liquid's gonna actually rotate everyone out of the A bomb site over towards B, and they're gonna go for a mid-round push, and Mouse is calling the exact perfect call off their success in Banana. They're gonna find a free bomb site. Liquid will be more than happy to just save these weapons into the next round. They can afford to drop some over. Yakinder can have his own, Elysia can have his own. Nitro's got plenty of money to drop if, if for whatever reason they call for it. But this should be a fifth round for Mal's. It will be a fifth round for Mal's. Yeah, that's yeah. something confident in saying All right. that. All right, all right, I'll give it to you because there's nobody between them and a bomb site right yeah. now. So this should be uh, at least the first round of this half for Mouse Sports, but also a situation where there's three guns being saved, another buy for Liquid. So it's not like they're out of the woods just yet on this one. Now I'm just gonna just make sure no one comes from CT. And Nitro, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, good. He's the one hunting because let's face it, that gun's trash, so he's gotta go pick up an AK. And that's exactly what he'll do. Why, this is like my why, entire agenda. Why, why are you so cruel to the FAMAS? Because it must be <laughs> taken down. What did it ever do to you? It didn't do anything for me. That's exactly it. It didn't do anything to me either. It misses. You've, you've been, I was standing there waiting for the FAMAS to do something, and a bullet hit behind me. You've been deathmatching for like three weeks now. Like, just spend a day with the FAMAS. No. See if you can have, like, you find a connection. See if you can, you can build up some kind of you, relationship like, with do it. Do you want to go spend a day with someone you don't like? Uh, someone who doesn't like you? You never know. Maybe it's just someone you got to get to know first. Maybe yeah, you, you, you got to get... spend a day with your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I know. I know my ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Well, I know the Famas, and I don't want to spend a day with it. Okay. Taking on Cloud Nine in the other, the other matchup on this side of the bracket, and you obviously that's that's one that you just you simply cannot miss. Or is he a couple shots toward the smoke? Frozen's still gonna check out Banana. Not really as aggressive so far from Team Liquid in terms of deep utility. They've been waiting a little bit longer into the round to use that. We certainly saw Nitro get the Molotov kill last time. They're gonna go down. Frozen's already there though. They never really cleared that properly. I think y Yakinder's trying to like beat the Molotov, right? It's the second time he's died in banana pushing though. Yeah, I think he's just trying to say, you're never gonna accept me to push like the last two seconds of this Molotov, so let me go for it. Tough part here is Naf is really the only one defending against this and he had no information. So now he's really the only one defending this. Gets the first kill, can't find the second. Good hit from Mouse. ADC already in the pit. Torzi gonna plant. This time the economy is a bit more shattered from Liquid, so they need to save these two weapons. Nitro and Elise bailing out. And it'll be a third round bonus, if I'm not mistaken, this time. Uh, well, they have a one round bonus. They're gonna get 1,900 after this round, so then they'll build it up to two. Mouse is gonna lose their losing bonus. Yep, that'll be completely removed now. So Naf, Naf will be able to buy, Nitro will be able to drop a, a weapon if they want to go for a force up, if they want to if they want to shuffle and go for, I mean, they might have to descend to like two pistols or two SMGs. I think the mo main thing it would hurt would be utility on a couple of players, but Liquid can, can make the choice to, uh, to invest aggressively if they'd like to in the next round. I mean, with this many rounds to play with too, you can, you can be conservative as well, right? You have, you have the room to work with. Another plants at the A bomb site. Another explosion. Another round with four players surviving for Mouse. So their money is growing. This is a this is a good first pair of steps into a comeback. This is the exact recipe you'd want to start with if if you're Mouse and you're looking to close this gap. Chat between rounds on the liquid side. 
knowing that they've still got a good buffer to work with. They can still try and relax, not overbuy, not overstep the mark on this one. And they're going to go for a four-man stack toward A to start this off. Elige, the one with the rifle, sits on 15 kills. It's Naf that leads the way in 18 for them, by the way. Nitro still hasn't done much. Said he hasn't needed to, but if things keep going this way on the CT side, we're going to need him to step up at some point. He's got one of the M4s. Spam for Zertion to see if anyone's there. And they do choose to be conservative with their money, which I think is the right call for Team Liquid with this kind of a lead. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think that they, they've got the time to, to spend in building play with. back up. They might as yeah. well take it. There's no need thinning this out longer than they need to. JDC, good for one. Nitro, though, he's there to trade. Goes for the reload. Nearly baits Exertion to peek it as a result of that, but he elects not to, and he'll get away down the hallway. Nade to you, Kinder. No damage. Or sorry, no armor. Tons of damage as a result as he goes down to 28. There's a scuffed smoke in there from uh, you, Kinder. Actually, it just gets deployed now, I would assume. So it is blocking off access. Mal's didn't want to mess with it. They don't know what's on the other side. M4 on Nitro with half HP. M4 on Elise, who's going to be at the B-bomb site. It'll be Molotov back, flashbang to perhaps activate Yakinder, but he's only got the USP and very low health. Elyse is the main stopping power here at the B-bomb site. Bows and backing off. Oh, they're rotating back. They are. Elyse just peeked out and saw no one. If he had seen the gun barrel, it might have been better off. Oh, he spotted in the corner, but they didn't know Nitro was up above on the balcony. He's going to fall down, try and get himself toward the pit. AWP of Torzi hits the shot. Lost 42. Another bullet more, and he would have been gone as well. So that was a decent effort from Nitro. And Elise is getting closer on this. They've saved up enough money and, and sat back to buy that they might justify going for this. They might actually try and make a play for it. They're going to be spotted down through that boiler stairwell if they're not careful, though. No, I take that back. They're not seen by Frozen, and I think they're just going to try and posture for some exit kills. Yeah, they're trying to grab this AK-47 that Nitro found earlier on the push. Frozen, I don't know if he's going to go try and defend it. Looks like he wants to get there. Going to have the opportunity, and he does find it. Yekinder too low on HP. Elise is going to take a peek. Good timing on that. He's got another kill. Shuts the door. How polite. And backs away. 16 frags on Elise. He is second on Team Liquid. It's Naf with 18. Important kill from Torji entering into the A-bomb site onto Nitro. That that actually retreat and that re readjustment back to the A-bomb site was very, very dangerous because the entry was just so far ahead of the rest of the players coming in. If Nitro is able to get that kill onto Torji or slip behind the broken wall, he becomes a little bit more of a force. Lead is cut to six, though. Got the pit vipers out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Swedes were into NASCAR. Well, when you look like that, I think you have to be. I think it's a requirement. OC is pushed up at the end of halls. Naf is going to be joining up with them, so aggression from Team Liquid. They have a chance to punish JDC. He's alone. Looking for an aggressive stance in Boiler that's not coming in. Banana is where the main thrust of this offense for Mouse is in round 21. But they're being cautious and patient about it. And Naf is getting antsy. He's done waiting. He's going to start pushing up and shrinking the map, already clearing things out towards alt mid. He won't be able to find JDC in his current position. Naf already around around behind, though. Did he make a noise? I thought I might have heard a step when we jumped over to him. It was hard to distinguish if that was our JDC's not turning not. around. Yeah. Naf's getting the whole way. Well, this is all really turned. Someone's got to see the other. Okay, oh, Naf's got, got it. Naf's, Naf's got it, sees it. JDC looks, doesn't matter. Naf was already preset and ready. Runs quickly into the door and shuts it behind him because he doesn't want any counter peeking. And that play has a lot of liege to shift over as well. Rotate over. But they might need to get one of these three players defending the B bomb site actually into the B bomb site. Everyone's going to be blocked off by this smoke. They might be content with just grabbing one, hoping a Kinder can grab one on the boost and playing for the retake. But Nitro is going to start shifting around now. Maybe there we go. Zershin all the way through. They've got the entry. They're going to find Nitro behind the smoke. We said this could start to spiral. It is now. We're looking at potentially 13-8. This is on. Liquid's going to have to pull up their socks here as OC stares toward the cathedral trying to look for exits. They're already committing to a save. 
Mouse has done a really good job on this T side of not really giving away the timing of these entries. We've seen him a couple of times at the A-bomb site. Just you remember that round they, they picked off OC at small pit when they're just walking up lane. Naf was in pit, didn't hear anything, had no information to pass over to OC, who got caught with an aid in his hands. Now they're just walking into B as well with the smoke and the choke point, and no one from Team Liquid realizes how close they are. And just a, just I mean, just an educated guess, a spam through the smoke. Liquid's defense is getting hit pretty hard as well. Both offenses firing on all cylinders and this is starting to look good for Mal. Zosi desperately wants to keep this off. We'll find a kill at the end of the day and stay alive. But now four in a row for Mal's. Yep, getting some momentum going. And it's Liquid five rounds back now. It's yeah, it was, it's one of those situations. Liquid's gonna buy again in this round, but the, the money does start to creep into your mind and you start to think, okay, this is actually getting closer. The first couple times that you lose rounds, you go, ah, whatever, we got a big buffer. And right, I don't... We'll just wait, we'll just wait. Eventually that doubt, that doubt stands for, by the way, right? Nor, no. Non-athletic sport created around rednecks. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> a little bit of a, a little bit of a competi competition I can sense between NASCAR and Formula One. Go fast, turn left. Yeah, that sounds fun. I like to swing both ways on my tracks, Jason. I do like Days of Thunder. Well, it had Tom Cruise in it. So amazing. Yeah, it was fantastic. Because that was before he made movies about him. Oh. Good shot. OC down, frozen starts. It's a once again. It's Mal's with the opener and sustained as well as he's going to sleep slip toward the cubby side. Got away from the Molotov. He's not exactly safe on 27, but he does have an angle. And you Kinders given up, I think, on being this aggressive in Banana because he's been called out too many times for it already this half. AWP, though, for him is a new look as he's picked that up off the ground. He gets Dexter back, but Forzy is faster to the position on the repeat. And that's a bummer because Nitro wanted to shift over towards the A-bomb site and allow the op to handle business, but him going down thins, thing in a way that, thins things out in a way that Nitro can't move. And now the aggressive peak from Elish wanting to find information. Liquid's getting picked apart. They don't seem comfortable on the CT side at the moment. All that breathing room they had is, is disappearing. Thirty-five seconds. Naf has a smoke to delay things, but doesn't want to give up his position. Flashbang is going to force the footsteps out. Now they know. Calling it out, he's in the bomb site. Naf waiting. Has that pillar to fall back to, but the Molotov behind him. Sprays in early. He's missed them all. JDC inside of the site. This one's done as well. It's now 13-9. No, oh, where is Zonic and his law now? I know. This is this is uh, this is brutal. Mal's doing a fantastic job. They could have very easily been knocked off kilter after that first half. This is a, a phenomenal response, especially considering Liquid won the pistol round in this half. This was, what, 13 to four at a certain point? Yeah, yeah it was 11 four at half, 13 four. They won the first two, and now with it falling apart like this. And these haven't even been close. Nitro's gonna go down here. He thinks he can get the AWP. He's looking for it. If he goes around that corner, Frozen's already there to watch it. Gonna take a run. He does have a smoke. He can block off that vision to be able to grab it at the end of the day. But I think he wants to do it right at the end of the round time. They're going to be peeking it. Zerson's already there. Everyone looks already spamming it. He knows. Oh, the ops too deep. That's why. Well, uh, Bomb yep. didn't get it. He's giving it up. Okay. Well, Liquid's still got two timeouts left. And the question becomes, when do you want to start burning him? The aggressive plays from Banana, from Yakinder haven't worked at all. No, they haven't. That, that's been key. He's been shut down every time. Yep, and the follow-up peak from the op didn't work at all. He gets picked off. So now a money round for Team Liquid. They have the uh, saved M4. Yakinder picks one up as well, but they're saving a little bit of cash behind this buy. Ooh, shot through the wickets. Didn't even lag him with that op. That was unfortunate. It's a good man advantage to give yourself, though, if you're Team Liquid, so don't give it right back immediately. Elise is the only aggressor in middle. He's got a deagle. Zershin knows that situation now that they're low <laughs> on weapons and he wants to take it back. Great shot, Elise. Shuffles around and gets by the corner before JDC can get in position for the repeat as well. Dexter grabs the AWP off that. Preserve the advantage. AW AK, God. They all, they, all the guns are AWPs today, Jason. Yeah, you're excited Figure for it the out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, OC's been forced back into the bombsite with a scout. Not an ideal situation to be in. Defensive smoke deployed by Elige, and he's gonna have to use it to get out because the flames tickle his feet. JDC wrapping on the bombsite is the biggest point of danger. 
JDC spots a legion. The smoke and Dexter's picked apart on Naf. There's still one more in the site. Dexter's got him as well. Just when you thought Liquid had earned themselves a footing in this round. But they're not done yet. Because they still have kits and they have the M4. They've got armor as well. Yeah, Kendrick's going to start it. He's oh, just swing. How does he hit that on JDC? Hang on. Not done yet at all. He had the advantage. Frozen new. Yeah, Kendrick would hold the corner. He's going to get the shot back. But it's all on to Nitro. Kit for him. Smoke, flash, nade to work with. A single nade only for Frozen, but he's got the head armor, so that M4 is going to have a bigger problem than the AK in trying to find a one-bullet kill. Frozen spots him, space through the box, and the AK penetration is going to win it out. Double digits for Maus. Liquid just sunk into the bomb site. They gave up all presence, all information, all the space was handed over to Maus in a five-on-three. Liquid thought the, the two-man advantage was going to be enough. Look how much room they had to work with. JDC, all the space in the world, all the freedom in the world to wrap around the bomb site. Ooh, narrow miss as well on that one. That's a little bit of a trickier shot. It looks a little silly from that replay, but obviously the scout was shown on the left side, and then Yakinder peaks reverse that. The scout was shown on the right side, and then the Yakinder peaks on the left side. This is unreal. I can't believe he gets that adjustment. That's yeah. Look at how hard he just swing his mouse. And eyes were locked on though. That was the closest round Liquid had. And Mal's ripping right out of their hands. We've got a game. They're within striking distance now. This looks so unlikely for a certain point of time. Liquid, how do they recover from it? If they don't win this map, how do they recover from it? So we'll see if they can do something in Banana this time with a more passive approach. That's where it seems to be heading. This is Liquid's pick, by the way. Ancient comes up next. That's Mal's. And then Mirage the third, if required. Frozen's gonna go, and he's gonna get thawed out by flames on the way through, but as they extinguish, Yekinder's already made noise. He's had to jump away from his. He's on 29. He has not been having a good CT half. He's just been getting absolutely obliterated at every point. Still has 16 kills, mind you, but he just hasn't had any positioning or sustained health to take these fights. They do have three here with the rotation. OC's gonna start it off. Great pick on the AWP, follows it up. A double and make it a triple. He's come out flying and swinging for Liquid. Knows he has to. Frozen's pulled this back. Well, bomb goes down, and he's gonna find the third on Nitro. Surely he gets all three. He does. So it's still a two-on-two two with 29 seconds, but the important thing is the bomb is down. Naf is on the race. A race between he and JDC to try and get to the site first, and Elise needs to be very careful because Frozen is red hot, and he's staring in that direction. Naf has a flash. You throw that now. Frozen saw it, looked away, but Elise got out and found the play, found the angle, and Naf will get the kill. Finally, Liquid get around. It's 14-10. Yeah, we wanted a game out of OC. He just gave you a huge round with a triple kill with the AWP. They needed that because Yakinder and Nitro were pinned down and had to be passive or else they would have given it up. That's a huge triple to have. OC's up to 17 kills now. That is finally Liquid stopping the streak at six. Look at this sequence. Beautiful AWP work from OC. Those are the fast, swift, and accurate shots that we like him for. Getting involved in the action, but almost Frozen doing him one better. A great sequence. Man, oh man. Anything you can do, I can do better. OC, though, isn't done. He's going to find Torji this round. This is the best game I've seen him play all of Pro League. Yeah, no, yeah, it certainly is. We said he was going to have his chances, more, more chances on the CT side to have impact with the AWP, and these last two rounds have been excellent from OC. You know... A little, a little funny, yesterday, the Team Liquid Twitter account tweeted out, you know, a quote from Yekinder that he's like, I'm from a team that's come back so many times, don't don't effing surrender until the end, everything is possible. And I remember thinking at the time, yeah, you're also on a team that's given away some big leads. <laughs> <laughs> so, How does that work when you're on Liquid? Yeah, there's really two sides to that coin. Be careful about flipping it and tossing it up into the air. Zershim waiting inside of the doorway. We saw the other perspective of that just a moment ago as OC stares down that lane with the AWP. That's where we'll sit and wait to see if action happens. But as that does, and it will, right now, it baits out the shot. There's still contact play going on toward B. Frozen's in. No smoke down on this. Nitro MP9. This is what Mouse has done that's been so successful is these kind of quiet crawls, these hits that Liquid doesn't have the information of when the actual entry is going to turn the corner. They kept their nerve this time and don't give anything up to Mouse, who now have to adjust back to the A bomb site. This is the final play. This is the one way. So JDC will try and bounce that out on top of the 
Hay bales lets him see toward graveyard. It lets him walk out and see toward library once he's inside of it, but it doesn't account for. Ooh, I was gonna say it was a player up on the balcony. That was Nap. He elected to fall back down. Oh, sees it more and more. He is on absolute tear right now. 21 kills for him. He leads the way and a scrap map point for Liquid. It took an entire group stage to get him warmed up and fired up into this tournament, and this is what it looks like when he's here. He's such a strong presence on the map when he's delivering shots like this. Past three rounds from OC have been incredible. He's really, uh, his teammate has got, a, has got the team to this point, and he's going to help pull him across the finish line, perhaps. Five chances, and finally the money is gone from Mal's. What a horrible time to run out of funds to battle. Who's the guy in the top left without sunglasses? Who went on? Yeah, come on, man, get with it. That looks sick. I want to put on sunglasses. He may not own any. Dog probably ate. Yeah, that's possible. Well, Liquid now finally find themselves on map point. Chance to wrap this up. It took them long enough to get those final two rounds, but... Yeah, I mean, the other side of this story, too, is like the heartbreak of Mao's not being able to mount any kind of defense themselves in the first half and never being able to kind of get things under control the way Liquid has in these past three, or these past two, excuse me, is, I mean, man, imagine if Mao's had more room to work with. This offense looks great. Imagine if they'd gotten five, six rounds in the first half. This would have been a very, very doable comeback. Such little utility. There's no flashbangs, only smokes for Mouse to get into the site. Only a single smoke on Torji. Zershim with the Deagle inside of the smoke. There's Molotov behind that now as well, though, so they're not clean to go through it. They're going at Team Liquid's defense. Yeah, they're going straight toward the boost. Elise gets one, they're not gonna stick around. They don't want anyone to come around swinging, but OC certainly is. Man, this guy's on it. Hey, Kinder back towards spawn, has bomb dropped down. He's got a lineup, he's gonna swing out behind the statue and find one more. It's all on Torji, one on five. He's got the first on a leash, but Ikinder closes.